I spent 20 some odd years creating content. I've been a content creator for television, and so I've done every type of content imaginable, thousands of hours of content. Today, I'm not the content creator. That's not my job, right? I'm not the one sitting there and manufacturing the content in the same way that I did for years. The viewer is, the consumer, the fan, the people who love this type of content, absolutely have the ability to say, you know what, I'm gonna create what I wanna create, the way I wanna create it, and many of them start with saying, I don't care if anybody watches. I'm gonna do this for me, because I have a love and a passion for it. And that's what's unique about what Machinima's content is. It engages to people who will get up and do something about it. They don't just sit there and watch, they wanna participate in it. We're here to be a part of that community, not just facilitators, but embrace those creators and give them opportunities to monetize their content in more ways. One of the platforms we work with is Twitch, right? Live streaming. And for years in television, everybody would say, oh, appointment television is dead, right? These millennials will never come to appointment television and watch unless it's sports, right? Traditional sports. But we found on Twitch that people would, engage, would come to a live event Right, and they would engage for two hours at a time. So appointment television, that live television experience is still alive and well. It's just what are you programming to that consumer? I don't look at any of this anymore in boxes of TV or digital or this platform or that platform. It's about people who create content and then find all the different places that it can be distributed. The way I've looked at the marketplace for the last really five to six years is that next evolution of what has been defined as the cable channels, right? Mm -hmm. I, I'm a big believer, and now this is pretty um, common, uh, accepted understanding. It certainly wasn't five, six years ago. Uh, but what we're dealing with today are the cable networks of tomorrow. Where Discovery Network was in 1985 is where we are in 2005. So I see Machinima 20, 30 years from now being a discovery network across every one of these platforms. And I also see that we're not creating content at the, at the smaller scale we do today. We're talking about the traditional budgets. We're talking about larger scale um, projects simply because the economics will be there. I think histor history has shown us that that is the logical evolution of entertainment and this is gonna be no different.